Hello air signs and welcome to my channel. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Your Thursday, the 26th of July, 2018's Daily Love Outlook. Um, I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. Uh, pick your side, your, whatever energy or whatever side you resonate with, that is your energy. And then, um, uh, of course, you will find the other side is whoever you're dealing with, thinking of or um, however it res uh, resonates with your situation. This will not resonate with everybody, so if it doesn't, make sure you check your other side. And if that still doesn't resonate, check me out again tomorrow. All right, we will get started here. All right, your guys' overall um, situation today is the Ten of Cups in reverse. Feeling defeated, feeling emotionally drained, from somebody who you um, felt was uh, fa a close family member of friends. Um, this person could be dealing with addictions uh, or you're codependent on this person. But overall, you're just feeling emotionally drained and disappointed. Gemini, or er, earth sign, or er, oh my goodness, air signs. The first energy out is the hermit. So somebody is retreating. Somebody is uh, walking away to find their own spiritual journey, to find their own path, uh, to lead, to guide and lead where you're meant to be. So if you're being led in a different direction, uh, allow that change, allow that retreat into the mountain to find your light. The other side is the three of cups, finding victory, finding uh, happiness, success, a reason to celebrate. Um, yeah, beautiful energies both to start out the reading. On this side, you have the king of wands in reverse. Could be dealing with um, a fire sign male who's really sent you in this direction. This person flipped your world upside down. They could be um, saying harsh things. And that's what's breaking your heart here at the bottom. Um, and this person's really the one um, responsible for you deciding to take a step back from the situation and see where in life you're meant to be. The other side is the Knight of Pentacles. So um, they're not wanting to offer anything to this relationship and, and it's breaking this person's heart. They were um, thinking about coming forward and making an offer, um, but uh, there could be a third party involved. This other side, uh, you are finding balance. When you retreat, when you separate from this fire sign, you are going to find balance. Um, with it in the upright, it's really having everything up in the air, hoping that uh, what you're juggling doesn't fall to the ground. When it's in the reverse, you are finding balance. You're finding a way to make things work. And um, that's actually, to me, a way better card in the reverse. So um, you're, you're finding a way to um, maneuver through the rough waters. This is the five of pentacles. So this person's feeling like uh, they're being as well with the five of wands and five of pentacles they're facing financial hardships um they're they're fighting bickering and battling with everybody there's too much outside um, influence for this person to stay um devoted to this person on this side yeah that's what i was thinking this person um they're no longer cheating themselves out of happiness they're no longer stealing. Um, they're no longer feeling like they have to steal anything. Your time, your, you know, this person feels like this person ignored them. They feel like they were cheating themselves staying in this relationship. Um, also, there could be a third party and this side is finding out about it. Um, this is two different situations. So this side, with this situation, the side's finding out about this third party 
they feel like they were abandoned and they are ready to fight about it. Um, they are going to go into this hanging man situation or this, uh, yeah, this time where they're going to take the time to look at the big picture. Um, overall with this, I see this relationship ending, um, quite possibly today because this person, um, is no longer wanting to invest in this person. Uh, this person, they're not ready to let go, but they are coming to the conclusion that it is best just to let go, to let the situation rest. And, um, and they're realizing also that there's something better coming for them. What can air signs expect on Thursday the 27th? One card. Yep. Calling in your soulmate. So, um, your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you two together. So, um, on this side, calling in your soulmate, you're no longer cheating yourself out of happiness. Um, you realize that this is not for you. You are retreating. You are, um, following your own light and you are going to call in your soulmate, your next partner for both this group of people, your next partner is your soulmate and your life partner that you will spend the rest of your life with. Um, you're finding balance and, um, and this person's coming in very quickly for this side on this side. Um, there was a third party. So you're not offering your love to anybody. You feel like you've been abandoned, betrayed, um, a lot of bickering and arguing. You are going into a time of reflection. You're going to look at the big picture. Um, you're going to heal while in this, um, time frame. Uh, you guys are also calling in your soulmate during your time of healing. So who is meant for you is coming in very quickly for both these groups. But first you need to split the energy. This relationship is not happening. It is not going any further. It's no longer your 10 of cups. It has officially drained you completely. So um, it's time to move on, move forward, allow healing, allow inner peace and harmony. And um, you will then call in your soulmate. They are coming in very quickly for you, air signs. So be patient, um, keep the faith. And as always, may God bless your journey with love and light.